Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and I'm going to talk about It Follows, which is currently streaming on Netflix. I'm sure that it's available for streaming, rent to buy options on many other platforms involving my trusty old Amazon Prime video, which I always turn to. This is not the first time I've watched this. I actually had to go back through the channel history to see if I had done a review on this because I was really shocked that I hadn't. So I guess we must have watched it the first time before the channel was even born. So it was still a delight to watch it again. I've watched it probably like five times total since it's been available to me and it has not taken away from any of the uh, horrible anxiety I get watching this movie. It's just like nonstop, just there's no breaks. There's no lulls. There's really no comedic relief in this movie at all. It's just like pure tension, pure tension, which I needed to add to my already very tense life for some reason. It's just like, I really enjoy this movie. Uh, I, I checked the trailer to make sure I wouldn't be ruining anything or dropping any spoilers, but it literally just spells out the entire movie in the trailer. We follow our main character, Jay, as she, you know, is just living her life, chilling, you know, floating around in her pool, and she has a date with some dude. They don't really go into how she met him or, like, initially what his background is, but they go out for a movie and he's kind of like, oh, that, that girl looks really out of place the one in the dress and she turns around and she's like what are you talking about and he's like can we go can we leave so he obviously already has this uh supernatural curse or whatever it is following him and he gives it to her through sexual intercourse unfortunately so this is like the most haunted sti you could possibly get there's no cure for it really it's just you just keep passing it along and if the whatever it is, it, if it catches up with the person that you gave it to, then it's going to just keep doubling back and doubling back. So even if you get rid of it, you don't really get rid of it. That's like herpes, right? Like you don't really get rid of it. You can manage the symptoms, but like it's there. That's gross. No, it's not gross. It's okay if you have that. No judgment here. So I mean... If, like, regular STIs and unplanned pregnancies weren't terrifying enough, now now we have this to worry about. And, um, of course they're teenagers or young adults. They don't really specify, like, I know that they're in school, but you don't really know if they're in high school or college, really. Or maybe they do specify that, and I'm just really bad at paying attention because that's also true. But, uh... Uh, Jay's trying to outrun it because she's not really sold on what she wants to do, which I respect. Like, why would you want to potentially, like, hurt other people? But I guess either way, you're going to hurt other people because if it doesn't get the, the future people, it's going to get the past people. So that's, like, that just sucks all around. It really sucks. It sucks. I feel bad for them. Um, yeah, so I'll just go into my likes here. Uh, the, the score and the soundtrack, like, perfect. Very synthy. I really liked it. The whole atmosphere of the movie is, like, really, like, kind of, like, dull. Like, it reminded me a little bit of, like, a 60s color palette in that nothing was even in direct sunlight was really bright. It was all kind of, like, these muted, like mustardy mossy tones and I really enjoyed that um it, it made me feel as though this was a modern film but not shot in like a shiny flashy modern way which was really cool I really enjoyed that I thought that the characters did an excellent job they're all young actors and I feel like they all really pulled it off and they were great I really believed their acting they reacted to things completely how you would in that kind of situation and just it's so creepy it's so incredibly creepy I love that it didn't really have any lulls in it where I felt like I was safe even watching it you know when it's 
following you. It's walking. It's not running after you. It's not driving a car. It's not, you know, doing anything that you would perceive as an aggressive, like, way to get you, necessarily, when it's trying to get you. It's just walking. And it's just walking calmly, which is unnerving. It's so unnerving. It's so creepy. I hated it. I hated that it could take on any form. It could take on a grandma. It could take on a stranger. It could take on someone that you're literally in the same vicinity with. So it would probably seem a lot less threatening, which it's smart. Like it's, um, I wonder if they'll ever do anything like a prequel or a sequel to this just to give like a backstory or, you know, like how with Final Destination, death is definitely something you can't overcome or really trick because it's, it's still inevitably going to get you, you know, they, they could probably do something interesting with like a prequel or a sequel. It'd be, it would be a, a fun watch, I think. Um, <clears throat> there isn't a lot of gore in this. Uh, the, the very opening of the movie has a horrific scene, which I thought that they pulled off really, really well with some effects. It didn't look hokey and it was really a uh, stomach turning to look at. If you're familiar with, um, compound fractures, that was interesting. I thought they did a great job with that. Um, I like that they didn't have to explain every single scene like there's one part where she's standing on a beach and she's looking at some guys in a power, like a, a speedboat. And then the next scene is pretty much just her in the car driving back wet. And you're like, oh, okay. Well, did she or didn't she? They don't really explain it, but I don't feel like they had to just to further the story along. Um, my dislikes. I really don't have a lot of dislikes for this movie. I genuinely liked the characters. I liked that just the creepy, oh, everything's shaking because my washer is going. Ignore that. Uh, everything sticks with you after this movie and it really makes you just look over your shoulder a whole lot and look at people funny, even though like not, nothing, nothing happened to you, but the, the feeling does stick with you. It's very effective. I'd have to say this is probably one of the newer horror movies I'm very, very fond of. I think this came out, it was either 2012 or 2014. I'm pretty sure it was 2012. And um, there's just not really any other movie like this. There's a lot of movies probably similar to this that I'm unaware of. But I thought that for having such an original story and nemesis that they did a really really good job and I was very pleased I can't I can't think of anything I didn't like about it I maybe I don't know I can't think of anything uh, to rate this movie I would probably give this like a 4.5 out of 5 it's not a perfect movie by any means but I just love it so much and every time I watch it, it makes me uncontrollably and unbearably anxious, which that's, that's pretty hard to do. I mean, not really. In real life, I'm, I'm pretty unbearably un anxious and uh, not, not from like just watching something though. Like this, this was, this was a trip. This is not a movie for everyone. Um, yeah. I guess those are all my thoughts on it right now. Have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts? Leave me some comments down below. I'd love to know. Uh, can you recommend any other movies to me that have a very unique story or in your opinion, if, if it hasn't been done before, I'd love to know that as well. So leave me a comment down below with your thoughts. Like the video if you liked the video or you could like the video if you like uh, synth heavy music like Depeche Mode. I love Depeche Mode. Sometimes you just get in like a Depeche Mode kind of mood and that's all you want to listen to for your entire drive home. That's me. Um, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter, Instagram, 
TikTok at Reanimator. Uh, you can find my solo reviews as well as reviews with the groom um, <laughs> on iTunes in podcast form. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. And I hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads, live streams, anything like that. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.